What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of the hiss in, uh, in some of your recording. When you're recording audio, sometimes a little static, uh, static makes the microphone all kind of like hissy in the background, a lot of noise. So this little tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get rid of most of that. It's actually very easy, uh, surprisingly easy. So easy I thought, man, everybody should know this. Everybody on the whole internet should know this. So anyway. Uh, what you need is Audacity or Audacity. Download that. It's free, open source. Uh, it's. I'll put a link in the description for it. Anyway, uh, as usual, I record my gameplay gameplay uh, footage with the Xtori, and I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 11 to edit it. So I'll grab my gameplay footage. I've got. Um, I just recorded about 20 minutes of black black light retribution. So. Uh, I still have to edit it and cut it all together, but first, before I cut the video, I want to make sure that the audio is cleaned up. So right now it's building peaks. You gotta sit through that. It's about 24 minutes of footage, and I'm gonna try and trim it down later on to about 15 minutes or something. But first, the audio. That's what this tutorial is for. Cleaning up the noise or hiss. Anyway, now you can see I have, as usual, two audio tracks. One is the game audio. Uh, if I if I mute this one, this is only the game audio that you can hear right now. And if I uh, mute this one, you can hear the hiss. That's damn it, damn it, freaking wall. That that's uh, me failing a little bit. But the game audio is, is muted, but you can hear the hiss from my microphone. So anyway, this uh, red bar here is the audio from my microphone that has the hiss that I need to clean up. So what I do is right click and I. Uh, choose open copy in audio editor. Now that will work because in the uh, preferences I have set audacity right here in my preferred audio editor. Um, so that's how it works. I don't use open in editor in audio editor because uh, audacity doesn't play well enough with Sony Vegas Pro. So I use open copy in the editor. Uh, and it, it's, a, it's like an extra step here or there. But basically the same thing, same results. So uh, it's imported and now we have the audio in here. What I want to do now, come on, is zoom in to the very uh, beginning of the track. I think I zoomed in way too much. And this area, I didn't say anything. I made sure to be quiet in the beginning of my recording. So I have a sample noise. So I'll take this, this is a noise right here. And I click on effects, noise removal, and I click get noise, noise profile. Now I just told Audacity that this is noise and you'll have to get rid of that. You know, so the next step is you press Control A to select all. Damn it, my Windows theme is changing again. Who cares? So you press Control A and it selects all of the uh, audio and then you go to Effects, Noise Removal again. And now we're in step two. So step two, I have it set for 11 decibels noise reduction and the rest is, I didn't play with those figures. You gotta use this slider back and forth. The more you move it to the left, the more noise you'll get rid of, but you'll have a chance of actually ruining the way your voice sounds. So you gotta find the sweet spot. Uh, if you don't move it enough, you'll end up with you know too much noise remaining. If you move it too far to the left, you'll have weird distortion in your voice. So 11 is my sweet spot. It's pretty much the same every time. I click OK and let it do its thing. And um, it could take a while depending on how long your audio clip is, but for me, I'll, I'll just skip to when it's done. Anyway, so now the noise has been removed. I can click on a sample. Ah, nice one. On, on his part. I nearly had him though, but... So that was uh, the recording just now. Uh, the noise is practically gone. It's still a little bit, you can still hear it a little bit, but it's practically gone. So the last step, I just got rid of the noise. I tested it, it sounds okay. Technically you should listen to the whole thing, but I'm not going to do that now. Last thing is I got to export it to an MP3. Uh, you make sure you have the, the right parts. When you download Audacity, make sure you look through the parts about exporting MP3s and stuff. Anyway, this is going to take some time, so I'll get back to you when that's done again. And there we go, the file is exported, so I don't need to save this unless I think it might go wrong. Uh, now I go back to the for folder uh, where I saved the mp3 file, which I put in the same folder as my other source files. All I gotta do is drag it back into Sony Vegas, into a new track. It'll build those peaks as before, it won't take as long because it's only a single audio track. 
but at this point we can actually test uh we can actually listen to what it sounds like uh so i'll mute the new track this is the old track i like this game it's very good reactions on and if i switch on this game it smooth it's quick so you can i don't know if uh, you you probably have to use a uh, headphones or something or good quality speakers but you can definitely hear a huge difference so what i'm going to do now i'll leave this game track muted for now we're using the mute button right here is i'll click on this track that i want to get rid of and i press u for ungroup and now it's separated and i'll just delete it i'll take the old one i'll put it in its place and i'll delete the old track where it was before but now it's still uh separate and then if i edit it i want it all to act as before so i'll just shift hold shift and click the other two so they're all selected and i press g for group and i'll group again so now they're they all act together and that is pretty much it uh the game audio is preferences. quite noisy let me jump to a spot where i'm talking again where's the kill house this way and i can uh you know increase the volume a little bit right here i'm not saying much am i Come on, right here. And it's it's kind of slow though, and it's got a little slidey thing. But then you're stuck, now I can't move, and now I'm moving again. So yeah, that's basically it. My voice is, uh, it sounds, uh, it still sounds just as bad as always, but the hiss is gone, and that's important. I got rid of the noise. And you see, actually there, the output meter is, it's peaking a little bit, so I'll move it down to 1.6. That is not part of the tutorial, so don't worry about that. Uh, but that's it, basically, to recap what I've done is uh, the audio track where my voice was I opened a copy in the audio editor which automatically opened it up in audacity in audacity first I selected a tiny sample of noise then I went to uh, effects noise removal get sample and then what I did is I so then it got the sample it doesn't confirm it or anything but then I uh, selected all by pressing control a went back to effects noise removal and then I clicked on remove the noise. I can't remember what the actual button said. But then uh, it takes some time and that's when you get your noise removal thing. Uh, it's it, The noise gets cleaned up, you export the mp3, put the mp3 back in Sony Vegas, uh, you know, replace it with the old track. The old track is still up here as a wave and the new track here is at mp3. Um, so that is pretty much it guys. Uh, it, I'll, I'll keep this tutorial short because it was short. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you like it, be sure to click like, and if you want to see more videos like this, and actually the black light video when I put it out later, uh, be subscribed. So this has been Ralph with another tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time.